We've got a Tesla Model Y. Uh, this project is gonna be very, very unique. We are not doing like our traditional wrap. Customer wants like a two-tone look. So the bottom half is gonna be orange. Uh, not just any orange, it's like a custom orange that we have to put together. After that, we're leaving the top black. She's not 100% sure if she wants to keep it a gloss black or if she wants to go with a satin black. So what we're gonna do is wrap the bottom like she wants it. She's gonna come in, take a look, and see if she likes the two-tone combo of the gloss and, and, and semi-gloss, uh, and then go from there. One thing to note about the orange that we're doing is it's a specific orange from 3M, but 3M doesn't offer that orange in a satin finish. We had to get lamination to laminate it into a satin. Pretty much laminated this gloss film and made a satin film. We could definitely do that. The only thing is that it costs more. It's basically double the material, but this customer is willing to pay for it. She loves that unique look and uh, I think it's gonna look awesome. So one of the things that really distinguishes us from, you know, other shops maybe, I don't know, is how we cut our panels and how cautious we are of the customer's car. In the end, a wrap is not permanent and eventually the wrap's gonna get removed. What we don't want is to for the customer to find out that we scratched or cut their car, you know, a few years down the road when they come to remove the, the wrap. So you gotta be very careful with how you use a blade. In this case right here, I know that there is plenty of space behind this wrap for me to take a blade and cut through there. I know that behind this, there's nothing that I'm gonna be scoring as I'm going down. But behind this, usually there's a small lip that just folds up. Uh, and if you have too much blade sticking out and you're cutting that, the tip of your blade is just scoring the inside of the car. And that just destroys the car, ruins the paint, and not a good thing. So you just want to make sure that you're using the blade, the blade properly. 